Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. Today is Monday and it is also surgery day. If you guys have not watched my past vlogs, you wouldn't know that I'm getting my first ever ear piercing stitched up. And this one's like a lot longer than this one, but I think I'm just going to get them both done because I want to start off like fresh and make sure that they match up because this one just like looks so wonky. Pretty much if I'm wearing a hoop, it just looks like it's hanging off my ear. So we're going to go get that fixed today. And I want to take you guys through like the whole entire process. I'm going to Dr. Givens. She's not too far away. I think she's in B Caves, but it's definitely on the closer side of Austin. So it's like a 20 minute drive, I think. Um, but I'm just making myself some bread and then we're gonna head out I also tried to do gel X on myself today and like they're not horrible because I buffed them out and I feel like obviously when I paint them they're gonna look good but there were so many air bubbles like if you can look really close like they literally all have air bubbles I tried so hard to not have them have air bubbles but I think it's because I only have the um, gel UV like light like it's a big light I think that's what messed me up because I've seen at the nail salons when I get Gel X, they have like a little mini UV and it doesn't have like that whole shell. So it's easier for you to hold down the nail and like slide it under the UV because I think that is where it was getting messed up because I wasn't having as much pressure when I like stuck it under the UV and I couldn't really see it either. So I'm going to definitely get one of those on Amazon for the next time. And I think that they just said like they might pop off sooner. Um, so lesson learned. I also didn't paint them because I don't want to be rushed and it takes me forever because I want to be like super perfect with it. So I'm going to do that when I get back home. Um, I think they're just going to numb up my ear. Like I don't think they're putting me like to sleep or anything because I asked if I could drive after and she said it was totally fine so it shall be interesting and she's actually going to re-pierce them at the office too and I thought it was going to be like three months until I was able to re-pierce but I think it I want to say like a month maybe a little bit less but I'll find out when we get there we're in the surgery room and she just set up everything she's gonna go bring the doctor in and we're gonna get started my name is Dr. Victoria Givens. I am a facial plastic surgeon in Austin. Here with my lovely patient, we're going to be doing some earlobe repair and restoration today. I'm pumped to get it over with. <laughs> yeah, I bet. and to get it repierced. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So we'll let the fun begin um, and get going. This procedure took under an hour. It went by so fast, and it was very seamless. Honestly, the most painful part was when they numbed my earlobes because the needles went in them and obviously I could feel it at that time. But other than that, I didn't really feel anything. I think another weird part was just hearing the stitches go in and out in my ear and not even like feeling a thing. But after the numbness wore off, it just felt like I got my ears pierced. So it was honestly little to no pain. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but like I said, I got my ears numbed. This is just a little home care sheet. Okay. You can get in the shower later today. You okay. can get the stitches wet. Um, just pat them dry when you're done. I don't want you getting in a hot tub or lake water yeah. this week um, mm -hmm. until the stitches are out, just in case there's any risk of infection. Okay. Um, otherwise, I just want you to do that spray like I told you. And then if there's cresting that tends to form, which is very common for that to do, yeah. get some little tips, dip it in hydrogen peroxide, swab it along the area, and then just reuse that surgery heal pro. Okay. 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 Questions? Do I need like a bandage? Like, should I bandage it up or just? I don't. Let it... No. Um, they don't tend to stick, and I actually prefer it oh. open to the yeah, air. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. I feel like people would want to know the cost of this surgery. Sure. Always the most common question yeah. besides knowing what's happening in recovery. So it can vary. It definitely varies from surgeon to surgeon, person to person. It also depends on how big the earlobe holes are, if it's completely torn, partially torn, or even gauged. And so it can range anywhere from 800 up to 1500, possibly more if you're also reducing the earlobe, meaning making the earlobe smaller itself. That can run in the 2000s to 2500 sometimes. And then what is the like price difference between ears? Like if you just want to get one ear done, so both. that's a good question. Um, it definitely depends on the surgeon again as well. For me, it's basically, it's just a little bit more to have both of them done. Yeah. So I have a base price for one ear. 
but most of the time it's only maybe a hundred extra bucks to do both ears. So most most people will go for both. How long do I have to wait for you to be able to re-pierce it? Sure. <laughs> um, this one I always go over with patients way beforehand so they're not caught off guard, but you have to let the sutured area heal for at least four weeks, sometimes six weeks, depending on if it's a bigger repair that we've done, but a minimum of four weeks. And that's the time it takes for that skin to heal back together. Now, anytime you have a scar or a previous incision, that area is never going to be as strong as the area that was pierced previously or was not touched by sutures. And so when we re-pierce, we can pierce close to the healed area, but never in the same spot. How long will I have to wear my studs? When you re-pierce it, how long? Do sure. Um, minimum of four weeks. I prefer my patients to wear it a full six weeks. And the okay. main thing I tell everyone is you want a pair of lightweight studs that you're going to wear 24-7. It's better if they're hypoallergenic, meaning made of like titanium or even a medical grade plastic, okay. just so you don't have irritation. How long does the surgery usually take? The, it depends on what we're having done, but if we're just repairing the earlobe, meaning just closing that hole back together, surgery takes less than an hour, sometimes only 30 minutes. If we're also reducing it, meaning making the earlobe smaller and repairing at the same time, it could be an hour, hour and a half. Cool. But it's usually all done in the office. If someone is terrified of needles or cuts, then we will go to the operating room. But I would say 95% of my patients for earlobes are done in the office. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm so excited to like see them all done up and re Absolutely. I was telling her I'm just like ready to get it over with so I can just get my <laughs> big hoops on. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a few more weeks yes. until those hoops can It'll go be over, worth but it. it's totally, totally worth it. it. Worth the wait. It's much later in the day. I came home and went straight to painting my nails because I just could not stand the look of my nails being bare, but look at my nails. I'm actually shook that I did these. The hearts like look a little too perfect. <laughs> I'm like, how the heck did I do that? But I'm very, very proud of myself. It does take so long though when you do it yourself. I just feel like I'm never satisfied when I go to the nail salon because it's either that they don't paint like close to the cuticle so it already looks grown out and I'm paying like $60 for them or just like the fact that they just rush you out of there I feel like and just don't take their time so I decided to take it in my own hands unless it's like a special occasion. I'll probably get my nails done for that but for now we're gonna learn to do our own gel X at home. The numbing definitely wore off on the ears and now it just feels like I got them pierced. Like that feeling of like, it's kind of itchy. The ear down here is slightly throbbing. Like nothing, nothing dramatic, but I can definitely feel that it went through something today. If you guys are in Austin, Texas, Dr. Givens does like pretty much everything in her office. Obviously earlobe repair and earlobe rejuvenation. And then like she does everything up to like rhinoplasties and then also Botox and filler. So I'll have all her information in the description box. When I went to my consultation, I just kind of talked through anything and everything I could ever maybe want to do in the future. And she answered all my questions. She's super sweet. So I definitely recommend her. If you guys are in Austin, check her out. So like I said, I'm having some girls over tonight for a bachelor premiere and I'm going to make some zucchini fries. I want to get started on those right now because after that, I'm just going to pick up around my apartment. Here they are. I actually didn't have too much panko. I think it was actually the perfect amount. So I just put whatever I had and then I did Parmesan cheese and Italian seasoning and then also garlic powder. We're gonna be cooking them in the air fryer. Hopefully they turn out really good. I'm excited to see if they're yummy. I mean, they look delicious. I've been like looking up TikTok recipes. I actually ended up only doing two zucchinis. It's funny because I always try to make things that actually look appetizing. Honestly, whenever you're hosting or even bringing something to a potluck, the worst feeling is your dish not getting eaten because it looks like shit. Like presentation is everything. 
And I've definitely learned that because one time I baked a derby pie for Thanksgiving and it was a recipe from a pie shop that I actually used to work for in high school. If you guys are from Roswell or live in Roswell, I worked at the pie hole on Canton Street. Loved that job so much. Um, and I actually baked the pies. And um, derby pie is basically chocolate chips and then chopped pecans. Honestly, I am not a big fan of nuts in my food, but I couldn't even really taste the pecans. It's more of like a chocolate chip cookie dough pie, pretty much. And I made it one Thanksgiving and brought it to a Friendsgiving and no one touched it. And I was heartbroken because I'm like, you guys don't even understand how good this pie is. And it was very sad. It was a very sad day. So from that day on, I really try to pick foods that are, well, just look enticing <laughs> to eat. So... Hopefully this looks pretty good and is pretty good. I guess, yeah, looks are important, but it's also important that it tastes good too. Um, and I've definitely had some fails. Like one time I made this olive oil cake and you know what's funny? I've never even eaten an olive oil cake before. So I didn't even really know what it tasted like, so I had nothing to compare it to. But once I cut into the cake, it was really not good. It was really nasty. So. I'm actually very curious to try it somewhere else to see if I even like it. I don't know how long to put these in for, so we'll put it on the fries one, of course, duh. Oh shoot, it says it's going to take 25 minutes and I have a second round, but what time is it? Oh, it's only 5.34. Here's the final product. I definitely put them in a little longer than I would have liked to, but they look so good and crispy. And I don't know what dipping sauce we're gonna use tonight. I have ranch and like, I guess every kind of sauce, so I'll just ask my friends. Good morning, it is actually Wednesday. I didn't vlog yesterday, it was just like a super gloomy day and I just made it kind of an admin day, didn't really do anything that exciting. Today, the sun is back out and I feel like myself again, even if it was just one day. Honestly, I am very, very grateful that Austin has so many sunny days. And it's funny because whenever I go back to Georgia to visit like family, I feel like 80% of the time it's always gloomy there. And I never really realized that growing up because that's kind of all I knew. Now that I have something to compare it to, every time I go home, I just slip into some sadness <laughs> whenever it gets so gloomy. Weather really affects my mood, which I really wish I had a way for it to not do that, but at the moment it does <laughs> um but i just made myself some breakfast kind of like a hodgepodge of random stuff i have some prosciutto and cantaloupe so good this combination so so good sweet and salty my favorite thing and then i just did um a little breakfast taco eggs tortilla and then some sweet potato and some salsa hopefully that's good I honestly just need some energy <laughs> and i feel like sometimes when i eat even if it's healthy stuff, I can slip into a food coma and get really, really lazy. Um, so I'm actually going to take my vitamin and I think I'm going to drink. Oh, wait, shoot. I think I'm supposed to drink my athletic greens on an empty stomach. So maybe before I eat that, I'll go make my athletic greens. Cheers. It's almost noon. And I'm getting so tired. Oh, I'm going to have to make a chai or a matcha, but I'm actually running out of oat milk, so I don't even know if I can. But maybe I should go to the grocery store today. That might be my get out of the house activity. My plans actually got canceled today. I was supposed to do like a little coffee date with my friend. Um, she wasn't feeling so good. My plans got canceled yesterday too because it was like really shitty outside. So very sad very sad <laughs> so i'm gonna need to like force myself out of the house um but as you can tell behind me there's a pile of laundry for me to do and that is not all there's actually some more in the dryer so i'm going to take a break and just like get up and get moving so i can like try to get my energy back on my own um and i'll probably listen to a podcast i love the what we said podcast um 
it's just kind of like girl chat. Um, this one says 20 ways to spend time alone, which is very fitting, I guess, because I live alone now. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna turn this on and do this laundry because to be completely honest, it has been like a couple days since I actually washed it. All right, let's do it. It's midday pick-me-up time. It's beverage girl time. And we're gonna be making a matcha, of course, but we're gonna put a little spin on it. I got this blueberry matcha almond beverage at Trader Joe's. So we'll just do a little bit of oat milk, a little bit of this, of course, some matcha, and I'll keep you guys updated on how it tastes. Over the years, I've realized the importance of the matcha you use. I actually got this on Amazon. I think it's linked on my Amazon storefront under good eats but this is ceremonial grade matcha and my friend katarina was just telling me that some coffee shops don't even use ceremonial grades so that's why it probably tastes like not that great and people will have like their first time with matcha at a place that isn't using this kind of matcha you know what i mean so that's kind of sad <laughs> um but this has lasted me kind of a long time because you don't really need a lot. Like I feel like the first couple of times I used matcha at home, I put like a big ass spoonful and it was like so bitter. So learn from my mistakes. Don't do that. I want to film a TikTok on this. So don't mind me filming myself while I'm filming myself on another camera. You want to make sure all of the clumps are out. And another little matcha hack is if you use warm and hot water, like it's so much easier for it to dissolve in it rather than just using cold or like room temperature water. This is always the hardest decision. These two are probably my go-tos, the bubble cup and the ribbed cup. They're both from Amazon. I can link them for you guys. I have these cute little sphere ice cubes. They don't come out perfect because they have like the ice around them so like they're not perfect spheres but it's still cute i'm curious to see if it's sweet enough with just this like blueberry lavender drink because if not i'll just put in some simple syrup this has time It definitely has that lavender flavor, but yeah, I just don't think it's very sweet. So I'm gonna add some more simple syrup. I actually have a lavender simple syrup. Let's do that. I changed my mind. I'm kind of feeling agave. So I'll just add a little bit in there. In the past, I've definitely made my matches way too sweet. So I gotta chill with that. Please give me energy. Morning, it is Thursday. I went for a full glam look today. I actually played around with some new makeup that I found in my um, little cabinet over there. I have some Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow on my eyes and it's like this pink palette, which I'm loving. I feel like it turned out so good. And I didn't sleep in these last night. I already did my workout, but and this is my sound gross, but my hair was a little wet. So I just dampened it even more and put it in this curler thing for, I think it's been a little less than an hour. I kind of want to see if it works in like a short amount of time instead of just like sleeping in it because a lot of my friends say that it's not very comfortable to sleep in which I agree but I feel like I've definitely gotten used to it just because it's so worth taking that five minutes in the evening and then waking up with perfect hair. Like it is insane how good this is um but i feel like recently my curls have just been super ringlety i mean like they fall throughout the day so maybe even doing it for like less time will still look good but not too perfect if that makes sense so i am gonna go take them out in just a second i was just clearing out my inbox and i'm going to meet up with a friend at a new coffee shop here in austin it's called daydreamer and i believe it's in like a student housing complex which is a little weird because i feel like there's just going to be like all these college kids there so we're going to check out the vibes um and see if we're going to 
be back. It looks really cute, so I thought we would go and check it out, and the matcha looks really good too. So, you know the drill. Gotta eat something before I have my matcha because I don't want to get anxious. And I'm gonna take these out. Let's go do this now. Moment of truth. Okay, not bad. Because my hair was like natural and it's kind of wavy straight. So I wanted it to just look a little bit more presentable. I'm just worried that these are gonna fall way quicker and then it's gonna look like shit later throughout the day. Wait, that's pretty. Okay. Let's do this one and then we'll take it all off. It is Thursday and I still don't really have plans for this weekend, but I am determined to make some kind of plan today. The only thing that sucks is that it's actually raining this weekend and I'm like, ugh, I wish this weekend was the weekend that I was staying in, like last one. I just like did not have any plans and I didn't really want to make them. So I just stayed in my apartment and I'm like, honestly, I need to actually get up and like do stuff on the weekends because I'm at home majority of the week. And then my weeks just blur together because it just seems like I'm working on the weekends and then also like just in my home on the weekend. So anyways, I kind of want to go out this weekend, but I'll update you guys if I make any plans. Okay, hallelujah. I didn't have to curl my hair. And honestly, whenever I do curl my hair, I did it the other day just because I was like um, needing it to look pretty good. I did not like the way it looked because my bangs are kind of at a weird place, but like this curling thing, like my bangs look fire. And I don't know, it just like looked like straggly when I used the curling iron, so very happy about my hair. Here's the outfit of the day. I have this coat from Misguided. I'm wearing an Amazon long sleeve top. It has this cool waffle texture. We have my pollen, fake pollen from DHK. <laughs> Um, and then my pants are Abercrombie. Then we got some Converse on. Honestly, these Converse are so freaking comfortable. I might even look into getting a different shade just because I feel like these get so dirty so quick. But that is the outfit of the day. Let's head out to meet my friend Alexis. So like I said, this coffee shop is on UT's campus. or like really freaking close to it. Um, <laughs> I keep forgetting that like I technically live in a college town. Because I don't really come to like UT's campus unless it's like my busy season because I photograph grads But I keep forgetting that people like are actually in school. There are so many people and I was scared that I was gonna have trouble parking But actually I found one pretty easily Dreamer and this place is humongous. It's huge like, and the cutest thing ever. Yes. <laughs> like dying. At first they had a sign with no Wi-Fi or like they said they didn't have Wi-Fi yeah. and I was like wait is that like a forever thing and they were like no we're gonna get it in like three weeks. So. I think they just opened. Yeah. So it's like that makes it's, sense. Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm going to come here and work all the time, even though oh, there's yeah. like so many students around. I know. But I feel like we fit in. Yeah, and <laughs> especially during the enough. summer, it's like no one's That's really so here. true. It'll be so That's like so quiet. That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Waterloo matcha because that's like the building we're in right now. That's like the student housing building. Waterloo, yeah. Oh. Um, and it's oat milk, matcha, and honey. And then I asked to do a pump of like lavender syrup and it tastes so good. Like it's very fruity, floral, almost like, what'd you say it was? Like fruit loops. Fruit loops, yeah. yeah. It's, it's very so. good. I'm back home from the coffee shop and I wanted to give you guys a little unfortunate update. The hair, it's just back to my freaking natural hair. So I guess it didn't work, which is very sad. So I'm just gonna have to sleep in it, but that's totally fine with me. I really liked that coffee shop. It was really cute and very aesthetic and they had so many tables and a lot of outlets, but where we were sitting, we realized only after we were sitting there, it was only for the residents that lived in that building. We did not see that sign at first. It's a pretty small sign, and it's not like anyone told us to move. I did feel really old though, because I feel like there were so many college kids, and we could have definitely fit in, but 
it just felt like a little weird um but the matcha was pretty dang good so i will definitely be heading back when they get their wi-fi figured out a lot of people were using their hotspots i just feel like my hotspot's never that powerful especially because i feel like i'm downloading stuff all the time so anyways i am going to film some tiktoks take advantage of these sunny days since apparently this weekend and like next week is going to be so gloomy and so rainy so gotta take advantage um really wish my hair was like looking better i mean maybe i should curl it i don't know i mean number one i just don't really want to put heat on my hair and then number two i don't want to curl it because that takes a lot of effort i could not be bothered to cook so i heated up a frozen meal it is roasted turkey with garlic mashed cauliflower i've had this one actually a couple times and i really like it for some reason kind of looks like cafeteria food but i actually really like the taste and i made myself a little beverage since i already had matcha and some caffeine i thought i would do a sprite zero um i used to do this all the time i did sprite zero so yummy sprite is my biggest weakness you guys and then i did a true lime packet this girl on TikTok, her name's like Kristen. She's like the walking pad girl. She usually puts those true lime things in her Diet Coke. And so I thought I would try it in my Sprite one day. And if you add mint to this, it literally tastes like a mocktail mojito, which to be honest, I don't really love the taste of alcohol. I actually prefer my drinks to be virgin. Unless I'm like drinking to get drunk, then obviously I'll have alcohol. But um, this is like the perfect drink if you want to stay low calorie or like even dry january you could even do like a tahini rim salt rim and just feel a little fancy with your sprite zero finally getting some use out of these glasses i got them for christmas from ryan and they're so cute they're from amazon so i can link them for you guys but i have an unhealthy obsession with glassware it's just just makes me happy don't mind the water stain i just got makeup on it like i always do but this is the outfit for my little hot girl walk i'm gonna go on and meet my friends at auditorium shores we always meet usually around like amley south shore and oracle but we wanted to switch it up this time so i'm gonna head out soon but i wanted to show you guys this sweat set because i got it when did i get it last year but end of last year and i am obsessed with this sweatshirt like, I always wear the sweatshirt, and then the sweatpants themselves are so comfortable. They're definitely more on the thicker side, which I actually prefer for my sweat sets. And I just really like this color. I got it in the snow marble color, so I will link it down below. Got my New Balances on, my favorite little trucker hat. I was clearing out my inbox earlier, and I filmed a couple of TikToks, so I'm happy about that. I am definitely going to... Um, do the hair curler tonight though because I feel like my hair is just not having a great day and that definitely does not help with confidence for like filming so gonna keep that in mind next time I want to be lazy at night and not do like my full night routine right now and I already had like a little good cry in the car <laughs> on the way home. I've been feeling so lonely these past couple of weeks. I feel like ever since getting back home from like the holidays and stuff and I think I told you guys in another vlog that I was like forcing myself out of my house and like I texted my friends to like make plans and I really thought that would like solve my problems like get me out of the house and then also you know, be with other people. I would definitely consider myself an extrovert. And maybe that's why I can go from like hanging out with people to immediately being so lonely and sad on my own. One of my goals when Ryan moved out was to like be able to be okay alone. And I feel like I'm, I haven't really gotten there yet because whenever I am alone, I, I'm just like so consumed by my phone and like always looking at TikTok and like always consuming content, whether it's like having a podcast on, having YouTube on right now, 
and I just like really wanted to get to the point where I was okay to be alone but I feel like I'm just like not there yet and I don't know if I'll ever be like I, I know I can do life alone I guess and I, I don't know I just feel like so stupid like even feeling this way because like I said I was just with my friends and I have great friends and I have awesome family and I have Ryan and I don't know. I made a frozen dinner tonight because I was just feeling like I really needed some comfort food. I feel so stupid. This is what I'm making for dinner tonight. I immediately got in the car after our walk and I was like, ooh, like what sounds good for dinner tonight? Knowing I had like leftovers in the fridge, which is like totally fine if I don't eat them, but whatever. And I was thinking maybe I should get sushi because that sounds really good and that would make me happy. And that's another thing I was trying to work on is just like not having to rely on things or people to make me happy. Like I want to be happy on my own. So then I felt stupid again for even like telling myself that. And you know what the craziest part about this meltdown is, is that I have had a really good past two days with securing like amazing brand deals. Like I have been negotiating my rates higher all on my own and I'm like so proud of myself for that because it's like very intimidating talking to these big brands and like telling them like this is your rate and like you're worth it and like that's actually terrifying because then they could just like not re respond you know and it's the best feeling when they actually accept like the higher negotiated rate and like you did that and that's like such a high of feelings and I'm also feeling these like extremely low feelings so it's just like so weird i don't know guys i don't know all i know is that i'm about to enjoy some butter chicken i also made myself some rotis because these are just so delicious i think i'm just going to stay off my phone and just like put my netflix show on or what was it hulu i've been really into this show revenge actually it's like so good so definitely recommend this show um but i don't know i just feel like Sometimes I'll get in these moods and I don't really like vlogging. I don't even know if I'll like include this in the video, to be honest. Like, I feel like so stupid, <laughs> like crying on camera. But I just want you guys to know that social media is a highlight reel at the end of the day. And every time I meet up with a friend, they're like, oh my god, you're killing it on social media. Like, you are like living your best life, like meeting up with friends during the day, all this stuff. And obviously that's what I post, but that's just not the whole entire story so anyways i'm gonna stop rambling so i can enjoy my dinner but it did feel kind of good to vent and if you're a family member and you're seeing this just act like you didn't <laughs> just ignore this please it's sometimes okay to feel the lows good morning it is friday and i'm rising shine Angel. yeah <laughs> we are doing a little blogger shoot these photos are actually turning out so, so freaking excited. good because we're doing like a different style we're trying to be a little bit more candid, a little bit more like fashion bloggery, like camera's not there kind of vibe. So I'll put some photos on the screen um, because they're just so good. But I'm just gonna head into the coffee shop to change. Then we're gonna switch up the location. <laughs> Waiting for them to play Gangnam Style. I'm back home. I am making myself some toast because I'm trying to eat it all. I saw some like moldy spots on the sourdough and I was like, no, no, I'm going to finish it before it gets all moldy. So made myself some sourdough with butter and I also made myself a little smoothie. Um, did some spinach also. Very proud of myself because I pretty much finished the whole thing. These are just all kind of like going bad. I kind of picked out the good pieces. I did blueberry spinach um banana peanut butter i think that's it and then oat milk and i actually really need to go to the grocery store soon because i'm running out of a lot of things like milk and oat milk and i feel like i definitely will need that for a midday pick me up but actually my friend natasha we had plans to um like have a little work day today and then she was just feeling really overwhelmed so she was like i need to get my shit done so let's plan for another day and then she just texted me and she was like i actually got my shit done let's still do the work day i was like thank the lord because i need a reason to get out of my house even though i just did but like that doesn't really count um but i am excited so we're gonna go to swedish hill at 12 it's 10:58. gonna scarf all this down 
and probably just put on a little makeup because my skin is like really not doing great i don't know what is going on but there's just some issues and i know i'm getting my period soon but like goodness like i didn't even like get a break from my last period breakout so not having fun over here but i definitely want to feel a little bit more confident so we'll put on some concealer or something probably do a light makeup because i also have some tiktoks that i like wrote down in my ideas um notion thing that i want to film today today i'm grateful for makeup i literally did not feel great this morning but now i'm feeling so confident because i just put on a cute outfit i'm gonna show you guys first time i'm pulling out this coat for the winter it is from express from like two years ago i think it also has this like belt thing if you want it to be a little bit closer and warmer and then i'm wearing a black turtleneck that i got off revolve and then these pants are from abercrombie i kind of wish there wasn't rips in them but that's okay i got this bag in venice italy when i went in april of last year and then i have these black boots on they're like booties actually so cute thank you got a matcha who's shocked and i got it with lavender syrup i didn't know they do all those like fancy syrups here so i'm very excited also this croissant thingy literally amazing the lighting in here is super weird i know you see the bars but holy shit so good we are outside taking pictures at Swedish Hill. <laughs> we are putting on a show for everyone walking by. Yeah, no, seriously. Cute. 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 Hold on, there's people. It's so cute though. Let me get a close up. Turn your shoulders this way. There we go. Perfect. Chin down, chin down. Good. Don't move. Go back. Let me do a couple close ups. Come up. Actually, sorry. There we go. All right, ready? Let me see. Roll this arm back. Yeah. There we go. Cute. Cute. Three, two, one. Cute. Smile. It's 6 p.m. and I was just like wrapping up some emails, doing some editing, and I just got a text from my friend asking me if I wanted to come over for game night. And that just made me so happy because honestly, I was going to spend the night just watching Revenge. But a game night sounds so much more fun. But um, she said she wanted us to come over at around 7.30. So I need to find something to eat in my fridge or freezer. Should I do another frozen meal? <laughs> it's gotten to that point, guys. I actually really need to go to the grocery store and just get like some fresh stuff, you know? Um, I also was going to make the Branzino fish tonight and I had a reminder that told me to like thaw the fish out earlier today but I of course you know swiped up and just like ignored it at the time so my fish is not obviously thawed. I'm kind of feeling Indian again and I have this pollock paneer which is like spinach and cheese. I'll show you guys. Oh wait oh wait should I do lamb maybe i should do lamb it sounds good and also i was thinking pollock paneer is cheese and probably like cream in the spinach part and um if i'm going to someone else's house and won't have the <laughs> comfort of my own bathroom you guys see where i'm going um also i'm running out of lactate pills i think i have like literally maybe two more so i don't want to take any chances i probably add that to my grocery list before get to finished up dinner and then i got back to my computer because i actually wanted to do some more pinteresting i am really really wanting to be consistent like i said in the last vlog um i created a whole separate account for my photography and then i'm gonna just keep my personal stuff separate but i literally have so much content that i really need to like repurpose them i even posted a short today on youtube do you guys hate them? Please be honest, but also please don't hate me if you see shorts because for some reason I don't like seeing them in my subscription page. But a lot of my creator friends have been telling me like, girl, you need to be posting shorts because it can really increase the reach on your YouTube page. And I've been struggling, okay? Like I've been doing YouTube for a while now and I feel like it's a very slow and steady but slow growth. So I just kind of wanted to try it out because I feel like if there's ever a new feature on a social media app, like you should definitely take advantage. And there are so many times where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to, it's like cringy, which literally is exactly what I'm doing with the YouTube shorts. So I'm just gonna do it and 
we'll see how it goes. But I just packed some snacks for myself. I got two Samoa cookies. Girl Scout cookies. Also, it's so weird because I've been seeing on other like influencers Instagram stories that I think they're called like caramel delights on some boxes. But I've always only seen Samoas, so I'm very confused about that. Also, Samoas were like $3.50 when I was a Girl Scout. I literally did Girl Scouts for seven years. I made it all the way up to, uh, shoot, what was it? The, the like mint green one. I think it was like the second highest. Anyways, I did Girl Scouts for a really long time. I loved, loved, loved it. But then when they started talking about doing a silver and gold project, I was out. I was like, um, <laughs> no thank you. I'm just here for the arts and crafts and to ride horses and go to camp and do archery. And now cookies are $5 a box or more. Wild, wild times. I also packed a sumo orange or sumo mandarin. I really need to buy more of these. This is like my last one and I'm already really sad about it because it's just like so refreshing. I'm gonna head over to Kiana's and get this game night started. I'm glad we are in our comfies tonight. 